Okay, this is part three. Um, if you just came across this video first, please watch part one, part two, part one. I described to you guys what the calam calamity is that's meant to happen. This is a prediction video. Um, part two, I basically described to you guys people's emotions and feelings and um, the purpose of me and the neophytes and all that. So part two is basically describing how people's going to be feeling like during this process as, as far as like they're going to be in fear scared getting closer to their faith getting closer to god uh so we're gonna, many of them are going to look to us the neophytes um when this is all transpiring uh, because we are the ones that are chosen to be the ones to help people go like understand what's happening okay we are the neophytes we are the chosen ones okay and I also explained in part two my role in all this so go watch part one part two part three I'm just going to describe to you guys why is this happening why this is going to transpire why did God want this to happen okay so I pulled a number eight vibration I pulled the discard that came in my deck that came in reverse, okay? A discard reverse, and then I have another discard that came upright. So I have one reverse and one upright, and a number eight, okay? I wrote what I saw, just in case I forget, but the number eight, basically what I saw was me raising, rising up high, high, high above the earth, okay? And I have wings, because if you guys do not know, I am an angel. All the neophytes are angels, okay? Uh, or some type of high uh, special uh, spiritual being some type of being okay but most of us are angels okay so I had angel wings and I was flying above the earth I wasn't the only one there was other uh, angels around me okay I don't know who they were this is don't ask me I don't know I just saw in the vision there was other angels that had wings as well we were high so I'm up high, I'm going like this, I'm holding up my hand like this, and then I, I stood on top of the earth. On top of the earth, there's like some type of dome around, like that's um, covered, that covered the earth. I was on top of the dome. And I did something that I broke the dome, and the dome shattered, and then I fell back into earth. And I stood on the ground. And like before I fell back on the earth, and like I stood on the earth, I did something where the um, it's like everything started to grow, flourishing. A lot of things started to flourish, grow. Um, it was just like the vibration, the energy change on on Earth. Um, once the dome broke and once I went back, it's like the frequency is going to change, the energy is going to change, the vegetation is going to change, the food is going to change, people is going to like be in high. So basically the purpose of why this first calamity is going to happen is to raise the vibration. The sun is going to be super hot because the frequency is very hot. If you can't withstand that, if you're dying because the sun is like super hot and it's causing some type of radiation, that means you're not meant to be here. I'm sorry to say. Um because the earth is evolving high. The sun is evolving high. So that's why you have to be in a high frequency to withstand this new earth. So basically, there's going to be a new earth. Earth is is going through some type of transitioning, transformation, evolution phase. Think of like a butterfly, uh, a caterpillar in a cocoon. Think of like a sh snake shedding its skin. It's something like that that the earth is going through. But this is going to be like three times, um, you know, this is a three times... Um, harder it's like not even hard it's a three times more powerful transition transformation stage that the earth is going through it's, it's very powerful it's like a force okay that is going to affect everybody here on the planet especially when we're not used to that frequency that's why you have to raise your frequency now before it happens and i feel like it's too late um to even try to raise it because it's happening around the corner it's happening this year so it, if you haven't been doing the work for the last three years, like 2020 was like the eye opener for everybody to like get right um, with their frequency, their energy and like releasing things that they need to let go. If you didn't do the work within those three years, then I'm sorry to say it's like 
if you can do it within this time that I released it, then okay. But it's, it takes a process. It's a time. So you have to raise your frequency. That goes with the, the food that you eat, the way that you treat people, the way that you treat yourself. Your mental has to be high frequency. Your body, your flesh, something about your body needs to be in high frequency. So you, you need to start doing the work now if you haven't already. Like, I'm talking about pronto. Soon as you finish watching this video. But, um... So basically what I got when I saw number eight is the world is going to a trans transformation like a butterfly going like like a caterpillar going to cocoon and it comes a butterfly like a snake shedding its skin. That's the same thing that's happening to Earth, but this is going to be a new Earth where everything's going to be high vibrational. The food, the vegetation, the planet, um, our mind, our intellect is going to be too, is going to be very high. The way that we manifest, like, everything's going to be more quicker. I was getting something about fast, okay, speed, like fast, fast pace, okay. But yeah, so about high frequency, high vibration, um, and uh, also it's going to be a mass awakening during this process as well. So when the sun is getting hot and like it's you know causing radiation for many people and hurting people, and people are going to die. Like I mean, people are going to die from this. It's also going to it's also meant to be some type of awakening process. A lot of people is going to awaken. Uh, that's meant to awaken the the angels, the neophytes that have yet to awaken. They are going to awaken um, to like know that oh I'm a neophyte oh I'm an angel like I'm this you know the people is going to it's going to be a mass awakening during this process okay um, so yeah that's what I saw with number eight so the discard in reverse I saw like bad people evil people evil entities um, beings were being sucked in to some type of I don't know what it was I can't even describe I don't know what it was but it was be, they were being sucked in into this thing where they would be discarded there was basically what I got is taking out the trash so those that are meant to be here those who's causing destruction those that was hurting people those who are evil evil deeds they want to be taken out those who can't even withstand the high frequency like it's like those who cannot withstand the high frequency is going to die off. Those who can withstand it but needs to go, they're going to be sucked out. Uh, like I say, basically taking out the trash, okay? Rotten fruits, evil doers, evil people, evil beings, wicked people, darkness, okay? They are going to be taken out, okay? The discard upright, that card I saw um, basically um, what's going to be like how the new earth is going to be what's going to become it's going to be high vibrational okay only high vibrational people can stay in the high vibrational people forbidden fruits um pure people are going to stay here on earth angelic beings angelic realm like everything that we're going to be doing like it's going to be a lot of new creations that's going to happen a lot of new creativity that's going to happen new way of living new way of life new way of teaching new way of educating ourselves new way of health um you know everything's going to be new okay where it's going to be beneficial it's actually going to be effective it's actually going to be true it's actually going to be helpful it's going to be quicker like people are going to heal quicker people People, like we're gonna have a new way of like medicine um, doctors it's just everything's gonna be new okay new education new justice everything is going to be so it's basically a new earth so that's why the earth that we're currently living in is dying it's re it's like going through a rebirth process and it's going to be a new earth so that's why the first calamity is going to happen if you can't withstand the heat you're not meant to be here uh, if you can't survive through this, then you're not meant to be here. That means you're going to be discarded like trash, like the evildoers, or you're going to die. And, and then I guess you got to go through like some type of reincarnation process where you have to raise your uh, frequency. Your frequency has to be high. Um, your flesh, your body, um, not just your mind, the way that you think, your flesh. Like You need to exercise. You need to run. Um, you need to eat right. Uh, the way that you treat people, that's going to... It's like some type of like mass judgment, also like mass destruction at the same time that the world's gonna go through. So that's basically what I got on why and what it's going to become and what it's leading to. So that is the prediction that will happen. This is what I'm foretelling and this is what I saw. This is my prediction. This is Charlene Speak. I'm out. <laughs> so I will leave it there. Charlene Speak. 
my signature and yeah see you guys next time so this is the first calamity there's gonna be more so and i feel like it's all gonna happen all at the same time i'm gonna leave there bye